the word is that the Chargers have moved on from Philip, or Philip has moved out and he's moved on from them, or everybody's moved on from each other. Um, if that happens, don't don't you think Philip needs to be brought in for a press conference and a little bit of a farewell or a send off and it, it, that's fitting of all this? Or well, I, absolutely, think? I think that happens, but. Um, are we sure Philip wants to retire? See, I, I don't know if that'll be that'll happen until Philip retires. Like when he even retires, if, even obviously, if, even if he's gone from from yeah, Los Angeles. Yeah, like, but I mean, I think it'll be kind of weird that he still wants to play, but you're bringing him back for a press conference to say, "Well, he's not going to play for us any, anymore, but he might play for." A, a different team. Just, it you just know. seems to be something off. I'm, you know what I mean? And, and I know it's an awkward situation, and that's what makes it seem that way. And at some point in the new stadium, number 17 will be on whatever ring Absolutely. of honor is in that stadium. I think we, there's of that there is no doubt. But it just seems to I me. I don't think. But it, So what, when you went to the Jets, you didn't have like a farewell press conference I did not. in San Diego? Well, actually, to that, I did. I, 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 yes, I did. I did. I that's mean, right. I forgot all about it. I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot there you all go. about it. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. I, I yeah. think kind of Philip deserves that sort of yeah. thing if that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, I never thought about it. Probably, I'm sure that would happen then. Okay. Because I didn't even re you know, I had to think back when you, you know, kind of jogged my memory that I did have you, a, yeah, a press conference leaving. And how about the, what are the odds there will be a welcome press conference to the Los Angeles Chargers for one Thomas Edward Brady as the new starting quarterback of the Chargers? What do you think of that idea? I, I, you know, hey, we'll see what happens. There's a lot of rumors going around. What do you think? I'm asking one of the greatest Chargers of all time. I, you know, I think there's a lot of possibilities, Rich, honestly. I don't think it's out the ram to say that Phillip will be coming back. You know, I don't think it's... You know, it's far-fetched to say that a, a young quarterback could be drafted okay. this year uh, do, do by the you, Chargers. Do you know something that I you're do, just sitting on right I now? I do not know anything. Okay. Why are you pressing me? <laughs> <laughs> because you are you are uh, Mr. Charger that I know of personally. Yeah. And I, I personally, I think Brady is exactly what the team needs right now. I, Brady is exactly what the team needs right now going into this new stadium that everyone assumes is the Rams stadium only, you know, because the Rams paid for it. The Chargers need to have an identity in that stadium, and they need to have 80,000 people in that stadium. And I think Brady coming to Los Angeles, again, I'll repeat it, my kids would demand a 12 powder blue jersey on the spot. <laughs> I get and would, that. And they would want to go and they'd want I, to see it. Do you ignore Joe Montana, his comments and his advice to Brady? Which is stay put. You know what? Obviously, yeah, I mean, you have to give credence to that. But if he wants to keep playing and something's going on in the New England area of which we're unfamiliar right. and something that he has to decide by the first league year, does he want to go back to New England? And he does look over the steering wheel and he's like, you know what? I, I love Edelman and I love my guys. Um, and I know that Belichick is the GOAT coach and I know we're going to be in the mix. And I know that the rest of the division outside of Buffalo uh, isn't going to come get us. And I know I'd have to be in Mahomes' division. And I know I'd have to move my kids. But that's Keenan Allen. And that's Mike Williams. And that's Hunter Henry. A lot of and talent. that's Melvin Gordon. And that's Austin Eckler. And that's Joey Bosa. And that's yeah. Melvin Ingram. And Derwin that's Derwin James. James <laughs> yeah. Who may be out of all of them the most impactful over the next several years. It's tough for me not to think about that. Is that is tough. Yeah, no question. Um, I think it'd be, it, it'll be a very interesting offseason for us. For the Chargers. <laughs> for the Chargers. Or for us in the media talking no, about it. No, for the Chargers. Okay, very good. Speaking as a bolt. That's why I'm That's why I'm pre All right, very good. That's Sounds it. like you know something. That's, <laughs> I'm just saying. But Danian Tomlinson smiling like a Cheshire cat here. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.